guys, today we're going to talk about how to um, post your artwork onto Artsonia. So first thing you want to do is grab an iPad, which I have the iPads right here on the table by the window, and I already have an iPad right here. Um, then you need to open up the Artsonia app, which is on this iPad, it's down here at the bottom. It is a rainbow square with a white paint splat in the middle, it says Artsonia underneath it, so I'm going to tap on that. So as the app is opening up, um, we can see here at the bottom, first thing that you're going to see, it's going to say teachers, students, or parents. And since you guys are students, you're going to tap that yellow circle in the middle. And at this screen, you actually have two different options for what you guys could do. You could just tap on the purple circle and scan the QR code, which I'll show you where those are located in a second. Or you could actually type in the code. I personally think it's a lot easier just to scan the QR code. Um, and I have those located right next to the iPad in this uh, blue basket. So you could just grab a uh, handout from here, scan it, and then put it back. Um, I also have a few of them located around the classroom this year. I have them like taped on the wall. You can see this one right here. So you can just walk up to this QR code and scan it really quickly. So I'm gonna tap on the purple circle right here and then it'll take you to um, a camera, right? Cause it's looking for something to scan. So if I just grab this paper right here and I go ahead and scan it. It only has to be on there for about a second. And then it will ask you, is this supposed to be Hillcrest Intermediate School? And yes, it is. So you're gonna tap on the green check mark. And now you're on the next screen where you wanna find your specific account. So I've already moved you guys into your different home rooms for this year. If you're in sixth grade or in fifth grade, I created you an account. So you wanna start typing in your first name at the top. So you tap on there to get a cursor at the top and you need to start typing in your name. So once you uh, find your name on here, once you find your specific account, uh, double check that it's yours. It will say your name up at the top of the screen if it's your account. Obviously this is not my account. I'm just going to use this as an example. So this is Abigail B's. And if you're in sixth grade, you'll be able to see your artworks from last year listed down beside there. If you're in fifth grade, you probably don't have anything unless you um, already had an account previously. So now what we're gonna do is talk about how to add your art correctly. So up here in the upper right hand corner, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says add art. So I'm gonna tap on add art and it will list a couple of different projects for you. So right now I have um, Pinwheels for Peace, uh, Surreal Self Portraits or Extra Artworks. If you guys make art outside of school and you wanna add it to Artsonia, you're more than welcome to do that in the Extra Artwork tab. Um, but anything for a project, you wanna add it in the correct tab. Um, so I'm just gonna add mine in the Extra Artworks tab because I don't have one specifically for this. This is a project from last year. So I'm gonna hit extra artworks and it will take me directly to the camera screen, right? It's ready to take a picture of whatever it is that I'm gonna record. Now, to take that picture, we wanna put a piece of poster board down on the ground and the poster board is gonna be located right next to this filing cabinet right here. Um, and it's like in a little um, folder, like in a little uh, plastic or cardboard um, folder. So you can either choose black or white poster board, whichever you'd like to be behind your artwork. So and make sure that when you're done with it, it gets put back there, not left on the floor for people to step on. So I'm just going to grab a piece of white poster board and I am going to set it down on the ground. I think it's the easiest to take photos for Artsonia if um, you know, you're standing right up above your artwork. I'm going to set my art on the ground on that piece of poster board. And then I want you guys to try to look at the TV for the rest of that, for this portion of the video. And I'm gonna stand right up above my artwork and I wanna try to get all the sides of it completely even. Um, and then whenever I'm ready, I'm gonna tap on the white button on the screen to take a picture. So here's my you know, artwork, right? I have my photo. Now it needs rotated. So at the bottom of the screen, there's a little rotate button you want to make sure you tap that if your artwork is supposed to be horizontal you want to tap on that always or it will be in artsonia the correct direction or incorrect direction if you don't do it 
You can also drag in the corners if you want to crop it a little bit further. So I can do that if I, would, if I don't really want to see that white background or I can move them out if I do want to see some of that white background, okay? So I'm going to move in those corners, get it exactly as I want it. When I'm done, I hit next up at the top here on the top right. Then it um, asks, tells you that you can hit submit and that will send it over to me. Nothing goes onto the internet without being looked at by your art teacher first. And so you hit submit, that sends the image, and then you have the opportunity to write about your art. So you can give it a title here, or, um, and many times I'll require you to add a title, uh, but if not, you can hit skip in the upper right hand corner. So I'll tap on skip. You can write an artist statement, which sometimes I won't require. Sometimes I will even have questions in here for you to uh, answer. And then if not, you can hit skip again. And then it shows you your the summary of your artwork. And it says that it's been submitted to the teacher for review. Because again, I have to okay it before it goes live on the web on your personal Artsonia page. Okay, so that is basically how you upload. I can go back to home. You can see your artwork with that extra one added into, into there. That's basically how you add art to your personal Artsonia page.